Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Grab you a cup of coffee. Let's get in the Word of God today, and let's continue to look at some things concerning our faith. You know, faith is an important subject in every believer's life. Without faith, you can't please God. Hebrews 11, 6. It's, it's through faith that, that we live in Galatians 3, 11. It's faith that moves mountains, Mark 11, 23. It's faith that causes our prayers to be answered because when we pray, we come to God in faith, believing that He will answer us as, as, as we request and desire these things. So, so faith is a major force. It, you know, it, you're saved by faith, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. And, and so therefore, it's faith that receives God's grace. It's faith that acts on God's Word. And it's faith that gives us victory in this life. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul writing here in verse 13 says something that is just outstanding concerning the subject of faith. He says, and since we have the same spirit of faith, notice that we have the same spirit of faith. The Apostle Peter writing in his letter said that we have the same like precious faith as he did. In other words, the Lord has given us all a spirit of faith, meaning what? Faith is a spiritual force that operates out of our heart, out of our spirit. It doesn't operate out of your head. In fact, Jesus said in Mark 11, 23, and when he said in verse 22, he said, have faith in God. Then verse 23, he said, whoever shall say to this mountain, be removed, be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart heart, but shall believe where in his heart that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he says. In other words, faith is of the heart, and your heart is your spirit. So we have the spirit of faith. Faith operates through the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It operates through the Word of God, and it operates up out of our spirit. Well, how does the faith work? He says this, and since we have the same spirit of faith, According to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. Notice here, the Apostle Paul tells us exactly how to work our faith. He says, number one, realize you have faith. You have the spirit of faith. God gave you faith when you got born again. That faith is inside you. It's the God kind of faith. Then he says exactly how that spirit of faith works. According to what is written... In other words, my faith is not on what I feel, is not on what I see, it's according to what God says in His written Word. Faith is always based upon the written Word. According to what is written, I believed. See, I don't believe it because I feel it. I don't believe it because I see it. I don't believe it because you come and tell me it's so. I believe it because it's written in the Word of God. So for your faith to work, the very first thing you're going to have to do is decide, I'm going to believe that this Bible is God speaking to me. And I'm going to receive every word spoken to me from Genesis to Revelation. I'm going to claim it as mine. I'm going to believe for every promise. I'm going to believe that everything that God says is true and is for me today. According to what is written, I believe. Amen? And you build your belief system on the written Word of God. That's why it's so important to get in the Word. And so you get in the Word. I believe I'm healed today. Not because I feel healed, look healed, or everybody says how wonderful I look. I believe I'm healed because First Peter 224 says, by whose stripes you were healed. Amen. So I began to place my faith upon what the Word says. I believe I'm prosperous today. I'm going to get my bills paid and God's going to meet my needs according to what the Word says. What's the Word say? Philippians 4.19. But my God shall supply all of your need according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So I believe God is going to meet my needs. And my faith is established upon the Word of God. But notice he says this, According to what is written, I believed and therefore spoke. See, I can believe that all day, but now faith is not just believing, faith is acting. Now I need to say it. I need to speak my faith. And he says, we also believe and therefore speak. We also, according to what is written, believe and speak the word. So today, you want to change things in your life? Quit talking doubt. Quit talking fear. Quit talking lack. Quit talking sickness. Quit talking, I can't do this and I can't do that. And find you scripture and get in the word and say, Lord, according to what is written in this book, I believe and I'm going to begin to speak what you speak. How can you come in agreement with God if you're not saying what God says? How can you walk with God if you're not believing that God is going in the right direction? And so therefore, I begin to believe, I begin to trust, and I begin to build my faith on the Word of God. And I don't just stop by believing it, I begin to speak it. Then what Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty three 23 begins to work for me. I shall have that which I say. Amen? So today, get in the Word. 
Find out what the Word says. Get that Word in your heart. Believe it in your heart. And then begin to say, I believe I have this according to what the Word says. And the Bible says you'll have what you say. Amen. So today, stir yourself. This is just a little lesson on faith. Get it in your heart. Get it operating in your life. And begin to see great things take place. Turn your situation around and get in the right direction by believing the Word and speaking it in faith out of your mouth. And God will move in your life. Amen. Well, until next time, I'm praying for you that God's very best will be yours. <music>